Father, we say today that we will thank you forever and ever we shall give you thanks. Forever and ever we shall praise you for what you have done for us, for the grace you have released. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Father, today we come against the power of the enemy. We come against the power of the flesh striving to overpower us we pray they will not succeed in the name of the lord jesus by the efficacy of the blood of jesus we come out of troubling and troublous situations in the name of jesus your word says the righteous cry and the lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles Today we cry to you, deliver us from our woes, deliver us from our troubles. In the name of Jesus, deliver us from trouble in our bodies, deliver us from trouble in our homes, deliver us from troubles in our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the challenges of insecurity in our nation, the overhang of insurgency, of terrorism, of kidnapping, of beheadings, of banditry, of rape, of violence, of widespread bloodshed, of robbery and assassination. Father, let us come to an end in our nation, Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, send the reign of righteousness upon the government of this nation. Let every evildoer, let every power representing the kingdom of darkness, occupying governmental positions in our nation be dethroned. In the name of Jesus, let your kingdom come in Nigeria. Let your rule begin. Break the iron rod and break the tyranny of sin. In the name of the Lord Jesus, open the gate of righteousness for Nigeria. Judge every wickedness in our country and take all the glory. Let every power terrorizing this nation be defeated by your anger. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we decree and we pray that you will anoint your church for greatness. You will bring multiplication to your church. You will visit your church in Nigeria with revival. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the enemy will not succeed to silence your church in our country. Today, we take authority over the spirit of strife in the church, over the spirit of compromise, over the spirit of competition, over the spirit of selfishness. We cast them away from your church in the name of the Lord Jesus. We decree, O oh God, that you will exalt the mountain of your church above all mountains and all people will flow into it. Your word says, and it shall come to pass in the last days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. Lord, fulfill that word concerning your church at this time. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray that you will renew your church from within. You will raise for us diligent watchmen, intercessors, prayer warriors and prophets in the church in the name of the Lord Jesus that an average believer amongst us will be a prophet in the name of Jesus will be a worker of signs and wonders an average individual in your church will be spiritual in the name of the Lord Jesus you will make us your oracles in the name of Jesus Christ our watchmen will no longer be blind our watchmen will no longer be ignorant. We will not be dumb dogs in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father.